Math Chapter 9, Length and Metric Units. Today we're focusing on estimating lengths in centimeters and looking at Lesson 9.2. Today's I can statement says, I can use known lengths to estimate unknown lengths. Remember, an estimate is an amount that tells about how many. So let's take a look at the model and draw inside our workbook to help us understand how to estimate better. It says this pencil is about 10 centimeters long. That's our known length. We already know the pencil is 10 centimeters long. Which is the most reasonable estimate for the length of the ribbon? Well, when I look at those two lined up, I notice that the ribbon is longer than the pencil. So my estimate should be more than 10 since the pencil is 10 centimeters. So right away, when I look at my answer choices, I know it can't be seven centimeters. The ribbon is also not twice as long as the pencil. That'd be like putting two of those pencils side by side. 10 plus 10 is 20, so that is too much of an estimate. Therefore, the ribbon is just a little longer than the pencil. So 13 centimeters is the most reasonable estimate, and it makes sense. Remember, in this example, the pencil is the known length. We use it to help us figure out or estimate the unknown length of the ribbon. Go ahead and open up to your listen and draw section of your workbook. Let's take a look at the directions. First, you need to make a 10 centimeter strip of paper, or you can use your ruler to look at how long 10 centimeters is. Now choose three items in your house that are shorter than 10 centimeters. Write estimates for their length. Well, if you take a look at my picture here, I did make a 10 centimeter strip of paper. That long piece of blue paper that is laying on top of my first example is my 10 centimeter strip of paper. The three objects that I chose are a battery, a paper clip, and a glue stick. If I take a look at the battery first, it looks like it takes up about half of the length of the blue strip of paper. Well, if the blue strip of paper is 10 centimeters and the battery is about half of that, half of 10, is five, so five centimeters would be a good estimate for the battery. Our next example is the paper clip. And I can use my 10 centimeter strip of paper and the battery, now that I have a good estimate for that, to help me figure it out. If I estimated that the battery was about five centimeters, the paper clip only looks a little bit shorter than that, so I would say the paper clip is four centimeters. My last example is a glue stick. When I look at the glue stick and I compare it to the blue strip of paper that is 10 centimeters long, it's not as long as the 10 centimeter strip of paper, but it's pretty close. I would go with eight centimeters as a good estimate for my glue stick. So remember in these three examples, the blue strip of paper is my known length. It's 10 centimeters long and I used it to help me give good estimates for the battery, the paper clip, and the glue stick. Let's move on in your workbook. The next section is this share and show. Let's look at the first two questions under the share and show section of your problem set. Number one, the yarn is about five centimeters long. Circle the best estimate for the length of the crayon. So in this example, the yarn is my known length. It's five centimeters long. When I look at the crayon and I try to compare the two, I notice that the crayon is longer than the yarn, so my answer must be more than five centimeters. And just visualizing it using that yarn, if I were to put two of those pieces side by side, I would say that's about the length of the crayon. So I'm thinking five and five, that's 10. 10 centimeters would be a good estimate. The second example says, the string is about 12 centimeters long. Circle the best estimate for the length of the straw. All right, well, my known length is the string. It's 12 centimeters. The straw is shorter than the string, so I know my answer has to be less than 12. All three of my choices are less than 12, three centimeters, seven centimeters, and 11 centimeters. I would say that it's, the straw is more than halfway past the string. So half of 12 is about six, and a little more than six is seven. So seven makes a great estimate. So seven centimeters is my estimate for the straw. 
Great job. Go ahead and finish the on your own section as well as your homework. And I can't wait to see your awesome work. Keep up the awesome effort.